name is Margo Walston and I am the coordinator of the Hemlock Restoration Initiative. Today we are working as a collaborative project with the Hemlock Restoration Initiative and American Whitewater, Mountain True, um, and the Fat Paddlers team to treat our hemlocks uh, that line the Green River for Hemlock Willie Adelgids. So Hemlock Willie Adelgid is an exotic forest pest. Um, they affect the trees by feeding on the sap, which over time stresses the trees and will eventually ultimately kill, kill those trees. So we're here at Green River Gameland, which is a state-owned property located in Polk in Henderson County, North Carolina. Uh, the game land is approximately 14,000 acres and is managed by the North Carolina Wildlife Resources Commission by myself, Ryan Jacobs, and a host of other uh, state employees. Hemlock trees are very important for our water quality and quantity uh, because they shade the rivers, they also stabilize the bank, and they provide a lot of uh, regulation for annual flows since they are active at times of year when the, all the deciduous trees are not, they're able to really balance out how much water we have uh, at any given time. No other tree can do the same job that they do. They're considered a foundation species for these areas where they grow. And so if we lose them all, things are going to change dramatically here. Hey, I'm Alex Harvey. Uh, I'm a whitewater paddler. I'm also a scientist doing biotechnology work. Uh, I've been responsible for rallying the, the paddling community to help come in and treat the hemlocks along the Green River Corridor. We've been able to fill this niche of being able to treat hemlocks that otherwise would not have been treated. And so we're just really proud of the effort that's been done so far. Yeah, so uh, sunshine, gorilla, so that maybe that area between Hi, I'm Kevin Colburn. I'm the National Stewardship Director of American Whitewater. A lot of people will see kayaking and they think of, of whitewater boating as just athletics, but it's a whole lot more. Uh, it's artistic expression, it is athletics, it's about community, and it's also about developing connection to place. As kayakers, we spend a lot of time on the river and we also develop a relationship with these places and, and we, we come to care about them quite a bit. And it's uh, great to be able to give back to some of the places that have given us so much as a community. And the green, perhaps as much or more than any other place, uh, is just uh, really worthy of, of some stewardship. So we have a protocol that we've worked hard to develop with the Hemlock Restoration Initiative. And this protocol allows us to run these really hard, difficult rivers like the green, but we can treat these trees in a safe and effective manner that doesn't affect the river, doesn't affect the pollinators, and we don't have any other unwanted side effects. Through our activity, we kind of developed this really specialized superpower, being able to travel through these incredibly remote, inaccessible places. And oftentimes we don't have anything really um, positive to do with that for the river. But this is a, one of those cases where we can use our, our kind of special talents to give back to these places we care about. And uh, that, that makes it really fun and really compelling for us too. My name's Gray Jernigan and I'm your Green River Keeper my responsibility to protect water quality in the Green River and its tributaries and to protect the ecosystems that, that serve the river. Our mission at Mountain True is to champion resilient forests, clean waters, and healthy communities across western North Carolina. And that means getting people engaged in environmental protection. And this, this program speaks to all of those aspects of our mission and it's really important to get recreational paddlers involved in those aspects of our work. American Whitewater got involved with the Hemlock Restoration Initiative here on the Green as a pilot project. And we hope that if it goes well, which it's going really well so far, we'll be able to expand the program to other streams and rivers in the region. 
And uh, I would love to treat several of the wild and scenic rivers here in the south to make sure that their values are protected for the next hundred years or more.